amazing. And the woman I want to honor today, and I'll give Bob just a minute to talk before I bring up Amy to say something on the Americans of the Arts. And we'll let him do that. We're on a very tight schedule, but I promise to let Bob say just a couple words. And then you will see by the support our, our recipient has here and the sheer force of her personality and her commitment to changing the world through business, economics, and the arts is truly stunning. Huh? It's rare that I get the opportunity to give a, a one-hour uh, cultural policy lecture, uh, <laughs> and uh, this, this is not one of those moments, apparently. Uh, but what I do want to say is it's great to once again be partnering with Nave and with Diane Smock on this award to a young uh, artist who has uh, uh, feet in both worlds, the economics world and the arts world. It makes a really, really big difference to uh, America to have uh, leaders who are well-rounded in, in those particular ways. Um, what I want to say is that, uh, very briefly, um, arts are exploding all around us in America, even in this bad economy. $166 billion economic impact for the nonprofit arts alone, 5.7 billion jobs that we have in that sector, uh, and another uh, uh, 800,000 nonprofit and for profit businesses in America, representing 4.2% of all businesses uh, in the country. Those figures are surprises to most people. Most people don't understand um, the uh, the, the great job that the arts are doing in not only animating our communities and making better places to live, but providing jobs and providing a future. That's what Americans for the Arts is all about. And when we get a chance to meet with somebody like Amy Serrano, the young artist who you're going to meet, we know that if we do our job right, what we get is a, a better young person, a better community, a better nation, and possibly even a better world. It's an honor to be working with today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your inspiration takes off. 